Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, welcome to your Oracle of Love reading for singles and couples. If you'd like a private reading, my email is below this video, otherwise stay tuned and we'll see what's happening. Oracle of Love, Fire Signs, who's coming in for you potentially? Oracle of Love, Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay, Ten of Cups, some of you are meeting someone that is wanting a happily ever after and some of you will end up having children and um, a happy family home with this person. It could be someone that is um, is coming from a relationship where they have had children before. It is someone that is possibly inviting you into their home, so there could be a blending of families for some of you, becoming a stepmother, stepfather, um, or a father-mother figure to another um, another family. Um, it's really a newfound optimism. It's really, um, for some of you, you're meeting someone with that is the Ten of Cups. This is the one, you know, you envisioned growing old with and marrying and having a family with. This is looking to the rainbow in the sky, feeling really optimistic, happy, grateful, abundant, uh, you know, joyful. This is beautiful. For some, there is a beautiful um, uh, a relationship that's coming in here. And I think you'll very much get along with their family and fit in with their family very well. It'll almost feel like this family has accepted you with open arms straight from the get-go if you do meet the in-laws um, and the, the siblings, etc. Or there's children around this and there's a beautiful feeling of um, be, feeling really welcome. Emotionally feeling, you know, looking to the stars and thanking the stars, going, wow, I'm so glad this person has made it into my life. Um, okay, Eight of Cups has been popping up quite a bit now. Um, for some of you, you are leaving behind something that is no longer serving you. It could be a fling, it could be a past relationship. Some of you are just coming out of this, so this could be after you make that exodus that you meet this person. This could also indicate you meet this person on some sort of journey, whether it's a spiritual journey, a physical journey, um, it could even be you hiking, being outdoors, being with nature, the spirituality with the Eight of Cups. Um, but it speaks of a journey, and this could be that your this person is in your life journey for quite some time. They'll impact um, quite heavily on you. So I think for a lot of you, potentially, you're with someone that can't offer you the Ten of Cups, and you're leaving, and you will find someone that can that can make you that commitment and offer. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, again, a beautiful card of family, reconciliation. They could have a foreign influence with the Eight of Cups and you might visit their family in a different city, state or country. Uh, they have a lot of wealth in the family or around them. They could work for a family business. They could work in the travel industry. They could also work with children and families in some capacity, looking after children, teaching children, um, working as a, um, as a zookeeper, um, working with animals as a... As a um, as a vet, as a vet um, or a research assistant or has a family business, but there's um, this person could have quite a bit of assets too. They might have a lot of siblings or assets coming in around them, whether it's family owned um, and they will inherit it later in life with the Ten of Pentacles. They're very grounded and they are very very outdoorsy they could have a couple of pets they might even have children already but this is they like being out and about they like being with nature and they they have a very busy lifestyle a very very busy lifestyle either they need to travel a lot or you know for for work or for uh, um, for pleasure their family is elsewhere. They deal with family estates and family finances. They could be a real estate agent, finding homes for families. Definitely there's money circulating around them. They could work in a commission-based role as well with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Knight of Swords, they're coming in quickly. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're coming in quickly. There's an impulse. There's urgency around this person. I feel like there could be a time limit. Um, or opportunity, something that's timed when you meet. So whether they're on a trip and they go away soon and they're only in your city for the next two days or the next two weeks, um, or they have something to do or when you're on a date or you meet this person, they'll get a phone call, they need to be out really quickly. There's uh, 
something that they're on a time limit for some reason. It could be a visa even. But this is, you know, uh, this could also be that they're racing ahead a little bit too much. Things can definitely move quickly for some of you. You could have a family and pet and a happy home and marriage, you know, and a mortgage or own a home before you know it. It could just unfold very, very, very quickly with the Knight of Swords here. Okay, Page of Wands. This is fire, attraction, movement, lust. A lot of progress and um, movement that will happen with the relationship. Intimacy could come around very quickly. Um, lots of messages of love. This person could definitely come on quite strong. Um, fire signs. They could, they could be the first ones that open up and say that they're interested in you. There's definitely... Um, the opportunity for you to fall madly and deeply in love with this person and vice versa. Beautiful connection here. Wow, the star card. This is a faded person that's coming into your life here with the star card. Could be an Aquarius. This is this is the person that's meant for you. This is the person that you're meant to have the happily ever after with. This won't um, apply to all, um, all my viewers out there, so please keep that in mind. It is a general reading for fire signs, for three different signs. So keep this in mind. Not all of you are going to be destined to be with an Aquarian that's going to give you a house and children. So, you know, please be mindful of that. But for the star card, the most part is about healing. There is healing taking place. There's also someone that's destined to be with you. Someone that could be very spiritual. Um, someone that's interested in astrology, maybe. But this is beautiful. It's almost like serendipity. There could be a very beautiful um, coincidental meeting and it could be very much based on time. It's almost like time is of the essence when you meet or if you have already met. <clears throat> this could also be someone famous, someone you've had your eye on on social media, someone that works in production, someone that travels quite a fair bit. Uh, you know, they could be a children's novelist, they could be a producer, a singer, an artist, someone that's in the public eye because of their works. Okay, the Priestess of Contemplation. For some of you, it definitely is a very serious relationship. Something that you write in your book of life here. Something that's worthy to be in your journey. Someone who's worthy to be a part of your journey for one reason or another with the Priestess of Contemplation. Again, there's a real creative um, energy with this person. They could be a writer, a novelist, an artist, a sculptor, designer. They have some sort of habit or something they might get paid to do that's going to bring them fame later on in life, potentially. Okay, Priestess of Intellect, April 5th to September 1st. Uh, sorry, August 5th. So this could be around that time of Leo and Virgo. Or they could be under that sign. They're really intellectual, very creative. They could, you know, they're not conventional. Conventional. There's something really hipster or something really different about them that will definitely appeal to you. But they are very bright. They are very intellectual and they do want to share with you a lot of things and talk to you about a lot of things um, and, you know, continue to inspire people, etc. with their intellect. So it's very good. Okay, Priestess of Purity, they do have pure intentions. Um, they're really big on spirituality and healing. Um, forgiveness, they could be really, really big on forgiveness and honesty, integrity. The dates here, October 28th to November uh, 24th. So October 28th um, to November 4th, that time of Scorpio. So there could be, there could have been secrecy with them, but they're pure now, or they have pure, beautiful intentions for you and where they want this relationship to go. Okay, priestess of faith. They're a big believer in faith, whether it's religious faith, spiritual faith, the creation of one's own world, manifestation, the secret, using the law of attraction. I think you're going to have a lot of faith about this person, that this is the one that you you want to be with, that you want to end up with. You know, they could be very set in their ways. They could have great, beautiful values and morals. 
okay priestess of beauty they're very 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 attractive also very creative so it's not only their outer beauty that's going to attract you but it's their inner beauty they're very talented and creative at something whether it's music design fashion film writing um, composing designing sculpting they have a, um, a creative talent they could be a musician and we have the phases of the moon here so they do follow the phases of the moon and astrology Okay, good fortune. So good fortune is coming to this person, whether it's in the form of money. It's interesting that it falls on top of the star card. So they are very destined for beautiful things, beautiful relationships, beautiful things ahead in their life. It could be fame, fortune. There's good luck with this person, good fortune. Things this person will bring in a new perspective, a new perception. Um, they could inherit some money, win some money with the priestess of good fortune. Or it's just beautiful, you know, beautiful, good, fortunate times that are coming up ahead for the both of you. So that's very exciting for you single fire signs. Let's have a look at you coupled fire signs. Whether you're courting, dating, um, married, legally still married, but, you know, the relationship is is becoming burdensome. So fire signs that are coupled up, oracle of love, fire, coupled fire signs. Okay, we've had a couple of cards flip over. Knight of Swords, Seven of ones okay there's defensiveness there could be a hiccup for some of you fire signs that's coming up um, there could also be competition someone might show interest in your mate um, someone that's coming in very quickly there's going to be impulsive decisions that's happening around your relationship here could be impulsive buys impulsive shopping an impulsive um, reaction to something or a confrontation or something that might happen uh, whether it's a confrontation with within the family or with a friend or with someone that's trying to pursue this person. There could be jealousy um, and fending someone off or needing to protect them for one reason or another. Okay, the magician. There's definitely a shift taking place in the dynamic of this relationship. There's a new start. There's also, you know, manifesting something, whether it is pentacles, new emotion, new feelings for each other, manifesting a new home, money, um, movement, manifesting new ways of talking to each other, opening the lines of communication with each other with the magician card. Could be an Aries here. Um, but there's, there's beautiful manifestations with the magician. But sometimes there's a bit of trickery and deceit. So um, this could be something that you're defensive over. Something that your significant other may do it could be over finances. They might have an account that you don't know about or something like this. But I really feel like they're either going to surprise you completely, like you weren't expecting it. You'll be in, possibly in being disbelief about something that they do. Maybe this is why you might be defensive. It could be over finances also be over competition but I think it be it might be a pleasant surprise for some of you with the magician manifesting new things new changes in your relationship you do have the knight of pentacles as well so there's an offer that this person is going to make an offer of finances money movement <coughs> something within the physical could be a nice gift that they get you it could be an, a, an engagement for some of you it could be in the form of an engagement ring a promise of commitment a promise ring this has been a long time coming or there's been a lot of steadiness or this person finally wants to declare you know their love for you wants that exclusivity wants that commitment there's very you know there's a very grounded energy with the knight of pentacles 
He is very methodical and careful in his approach though, so this might need time to develop into something more. Or there's some there's finances that are coming in from a self business that your partner or your mate that's self employed that might really take off. Also have the Queen of Pentacles, beautiful. This is attraction. This is also a large asset that's in your hands, and also being really thankful for your for your um, for your partner. For some of you, you might be welcoming in a new baby a new asset, a new family member, whether it's, you know, through your own pregnancy or through someone around you, someone that's very close. Queen of Pentacles does rule the physical world, so and you're holding something here with the two of you. You can see the Queen, the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles coming into each other. For some, the relationship that you're in is definitely destined and you're going to be declaring you're going to be moving in together getting engaged, getting married, making those changes, going through those milestones together. You'll be very happy. Beautiful attraction here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. This is seeing physical results. Maybe there's been some sort of jealous episode here, but you'll come out of that. Okay, five of wands could be a conflict or a confrontation. This would make sense with the seven of wands here. The five of wands is gossip. There's gossip or someone on the outside potentially either eyeing off your, your, your partner, interested in them, or wants to cause trouble. But don't let that stop you. Just focus on each other. See how they're coming in together. And this is on the outside. They're not paying attention. They have their back to it. So turn your back on it. If it's friends, if it's associates, whoever it is that's being negative, or isn't being supportive of this relationship, then just turn your back on them for the time being and just say, I'm not listening to it. I don't need this negativity. And just concentrate on this, um, concentrate on your partner or this other person that um, is around you. So it's important you uh, don't take this information in and you just concentrate and focus on this relationship that you have and this person that you have in front of you. You know, and what's going on, the, you know, the, the inside dynamic of this relationship that other people on the outside won't necessarily understand. Let's see what else is happening. Coupled fire signs. Okay, priestess of faith. Faith is needed, faith in this other person, faith in the relationship to create and move on and strengthen this relationship. There's, there, there could be a spiritual or religious connotation to the faith card as well. So you might find that you've become that religion or spirituality might bring you closer together if that's what you're after, or faith in something you know you've been really you know you've been hopeful for, you've been trying to manifest in some way will appear with the magician. Whether it's a home, you know you've been praying and hoping for a family home, you know, or a dream home, a dream career, this dream situation in your relationship might change. Okay, Priestess of Ambition, December 24th to January 20, 20th. So you're looking around the time of Capricorn. Ambitions will pay off. You'll be reaping the rewards. Someone's ambition, someone else's motives will come into play here, whether it is someone's gossiping or someone else being interested in, um, in your partner. Okay, Priestess of Abundance, Abundance is coming to you. You do have lots of pentacles here, so there is financial gain. You, whether you win a lottery ticket, Abundance, you know, you, you're blessed with twins, um, you're blessed with a beautiful home, money, a lot of experiences coming up, lots of events you might be invited to. There is abundance around this um, relationship in some aspect. Okay, the Priestess of Wisdom, September 30th to October 27th. Around the time of Libra Scorpio. Wising up about a situation. Maturing. Approaching someone who hasn't been honest. Approaching the outsiders maybe with the Priestess of Wisdom. 
receiving um, advice, seeking solace in someone who can offer you wisdom and advice about this relationship. Could be a parent, an in-law, an older sibling. Wisdom could also be that you're seeking um, the expertise of someone who is very uh, intellectual about relationships. It could even be a marriage counsellor. Okay, the Priestess of Intuition, January 21st to February 17th, around the time of Aquarius. Intuition could be heightened very much so for yourself and your partner or where this relationship is going. You could be getting an inkling, a premonition, a feeling of some sort. Around this time, your intuition could be heightened. And maybe you need to follow you know, that guidance from within. Could definitely be about where this relationship is heading becoming more in tune with your partner's feelings emotions being more receptive and responsive to them as well okay the priestess of luck luck is coming for some of you luck and abend um, an abundance in these uh, relationships or partnerships of some kind so whether you know whichever this luck is in the form of finances, assets, money, um, luck in love, luck in timing. <clears throat> There's luck circulating around you here. Um, and it, it will definitely show up in some sort of aspect or circumstance in this relationship, fire signs. Um, I hope this has been insightful for you. Um, hopefully we'll chat soon. For those after a private reading, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, all the best.